what's up it's the hd tech bus here today so i'm going to get to the point real fast here how do you completely close ios apps on ios 7. i did do one on ios 6 and i made it a lot harder than it should have been because i went through and i explained everything first and then showed you how to do it so here's how to do it in ios 7 and you may have clicked on this thinking what does completely close ios apps mean anyway in other words i call it killing the app which i will put in the title all right, so you double tap on the home button and they redesign the multitasking interface in iOS 7. I really like it. And you choose the app you want to completely close or kill. And when I mean choose, I mean tap and you swipe up and that's how you kill the app, such to say. And okay, what does kill mean? I mean, really, why am I saying kill the app? Well, I heard this uh, this term way back a long time ago when the first Android came out and there's this app called Advanced Task Killer and I think they still have it. The word killer was in there and people were like, why is the word killer in there? And actually what killing the app means is it means that you completely close out the app just like on your computer whenever you close a program and you hit that X, you've killed it. If you just hit the home button on your iOS device, let's say you open up an app like uh, Cricket here is one of my cash apps, and then you just close it. That's basically just minimizing it. That's all it is. But really, killing it actually closes it the whole way. And why would you want to do this? Well, it frees up RAM. If you don't know what RAM is, it stands for random access memory, and your computer has it. It's, uh, it's where open programs are stored and data that needs to be accessed very quickly, such as open programs, would be stored. So your phone has it too, obviously, because your phone's a computer. You can swipe up. You can kill two at once if you swipe both up at once, and that's what killing an app actually is. I've heard people say, oh, that's how you delete the app. What? No. No, 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 no. That's not how you delete the app. If you want to delete the app, what you would do is you would go over to the home screen here, and you would hold down on the app... And then let's say I want to delete this. That is what deleting is. Not the whole multitasking thing. That is not deleting. That is just closing it completely. That's actually what it is. And a lot of phones have this. Every smartphone has this almost. They all have some form of multitasking built in because it's, it's a necessary thing to have. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I'll be back with more stuff. I'll be trying to do a video once a week. I did get Internet Piracy finished, the one action video on Plum Puppy Films, if you want to check it out. I got it in videos, and we've got a good bit of views so far, as you can see. Please do check it out. I'll leave a link in the description and possibly in this video, if I can remember. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, I gotta close out some of this. I'm really liking iOS 7, by the way. I hope you guys got it. A little tip for you. If it says you need 3 gigabytes to download on your phone and you're deleting everything, don't do that. Just use a computer and you'll have no problems doing it with whatever amount of storage you have. I'm not gonna go into why that is, but there you go. There's a tip. Alright, see you guys later. Done taking your time. Bye. Thank you.